Hello everyone, and welcome to CA221 Writing for Media. My name is Gina O'Donnell. I am a professor at ECC's Communication and Media Arts Department, and I will be teaching this class. I wanted to take a few minutes to tell everyone about this course, what we'll be doing, and how it will run. So as I'm sure you can tell from the course title, Writing for Media, our focus this semester is going to be on media writing. Each student will learn how to write a news story, to create some type of an advertisement, as well as write an episode of a show or a short film. In addition to that, each student will be creating a professional portfolio of their work. Now the portfolio will include the assignments that we do in our class, but you are welcome to include any additional items that you would like to your portfolio. So certainly think about projects you've done in other courses that you're proud of, or even things that you've done in your personal life. The whole goal of the portfolio is for students to have a collection of their very best work all together in a portfolio website um, that you could use to market yourself to a prospective employer, uh, someone who's looking to hire you for a job or an internship or possibly admission at a four-year college. Now, portfolios can include written work, they can include audio or video projects, they can include photography, artwork, really anything that you want, anything that you have created yourself that you are proud of. Um, so for those of you with different majors than communication and media arts, really think about how you can use this portfolio to showcase your abilities in your chosen field. And everyone, kind of keep in the back of your mind what topics or things that you could write about in this class to help you market yourself. More details on that to come. Uh, but I do want to let everyone know in terms of, of the week to week schedule that this is an asynchronous class, which means that all the lectures are recorded. There is not any dedicated day or time for a live stream or anything like that. I will post new content in lessons in Brightspace every Monday morning. And I expect you to log in and complete the items that are out there each week. Now these items typically consist of a reading assignment, a video lecture, and then some type of a graded participation activity or a writing assignment. The participation activities are generally shorter. The writing assignments are a little bit more involved. Uh, but with each writing assignment that you hand in, uh, I will grade it and I will return it to you with comments and suggestions for potential improvement. You will need to make these corrections by the end of the semester um, and include these items in your portfolio. And the reason why I suggest corrections is because we want the things in your portfolio to be the best possible versions that you have, um, content that you're proud of and that you know is error free. Um, so we will spend the last few weeks of the semester uh, creating the portfolio websites and uploading content, but that'll typically be the process throughout the semester. Now, in terms of our first week together, I have posted a few things for everyone to complete in module one. I would like everyone to read the syllabus. It has all the details on our assignments, the grading, the schedule, etc. After reading the syllabus, I would like everyone to complete the syllabus scavenger hunt uh, and answer the 10 quick questions I have out there about the syllabus. With this assignment, you can complete it as many times as you would like until you get the grade that you are satisfied with. And this will be due by Sunday at midnight. Finally, I would like everyone to complete the About Me and Professional Photo assignment. I've posted uh, specific instructions for this, but here, briefly, I would like you to introduce yourself, but focus your introduction on your academic and your career goals. Why did you choose your current major in college? What are your interests in that field? Do you have any plans to continue your education after ECC? What is your dream job or what kind of a career would you love to have someday? Now, what you write will eventually become the About Me section of your portfolio website. And it may be the first thing that a prospective employer uh, or college admissions advisor sees about you. So write it um, like someone who is looking to hire you would read it. In addition to writing, I have asked everyone to include a professional photo of themselves. 
Um, and I asked everyone to find that this week because your portfolio at the end of the semester will need to include at least one picture of you. Now, when I say professional, I don't mean that the photo has to be taken by a professional or it has to be taken with a high-end camera or anything like that. I mean that it should be a picture of you that is appropriate for a prospective employer to see. We should be able to see your face in the photo and the photo should be free of a lot of distracting elements or clutter. Um, you know, it shouldn't be you amidst a big group of people or anything like that. You should be the focus of the photo. So. The short writing assignment and the photo is going to be due by Wednesday at midnight. After you have posted this, I'm gonna ask that you respond to at least two classmates posts with your thoughts on what they have written. And this will be due by Sunday at midnight. Now, you may note from the syllabus that there are deadlines for all assignments, but if you miss a deadline, it is okay. I do accept things late. So if for some reason you miss a deadline, you can always still complete the work. Just understand that I do take late points off for anything that is submitted beyond the due date. To wrap this up, while we don't have a live class meeting each week, I want everyone to know that I'm here and I'm happy to help you if you need it. Call me, email me, stop into my office at the South Campus. I'm available to help you. Uh, all of my contact information is on your syllabus and it's also in the My Instructor section of Brightspace, so I am easy to find. So welcome to everyone, good luck. I look forward to working with all of you. Bye-bye.